How's it going, everyone? Tim here, TRD Adventures. Hope everyone's all well there. As always, thanks for tuning in. Much, much appreciated. So, continuing on with some builds. Up today is the first of a couple of VRD builds. So, this is my uh, Vanquish uh, Stance RTR with the Krupp Carmworks Battle Axe 2.0 chassis swaps. So, we'll check out some crawling footage real quick, and then we'll cut back and get into the details of the build. Hope you enjoy the crawling. See you in a second. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed some of that crawling footage and needless to say, I've absolutely enjoyed the crap out of the stance since I've gotten it there. So uh, let's go ahead and get into the details there. So again, this started as the stance RTR and counterpart to the Vanquish VRD carbon kit. Now being RTR and at an affordable price range, you know, some things were changed. There's some uh, gear material and the differentials that is different versus the, uh, versus the kit, as well as um, some overdrive gear ratios in the transmission and motor plates, you know, a few other little changes, links and stuff like that between the two kits. But those sacrifices were made to give us an affordable and capable RTR and they succeeded very, very well. Um, I've had the stance since it came out um, and I've been driving the absolute crap out of it and I've had zero issues with any of those sacrificed parts or anything like that. Um, but in the end, overall, they accomplished their goal is a capable truck, RTR, at an affordable price range and to get everybody kind of going and everything in the hobby. So. The reason we ended up with the Stance RTR is my man Austin at Crop Crumb Works um, brought back the Battle Axe. This is the Battle Axe 2.0. This is a VRD or Stance um, bolt-on um, chassis. And I was like, man, I really like one of those. I want to get one. I want to show my support and stuff like that. So I was, I'd was, i already been debating on picking up a second VRD kit anyway because I really, really like it. Uh, but then they released the RTR version, and I really like the tennis green body. So I was like perfect and it came with aluminum rails so i was like gives me a perfect reason to get that and swap out the chassis rails and kind of go to town so let's get into the details here so first up is the 2.0 uh, battle axe chassis there this is in the forged carbon fiber with the gold flake here i just thought that's just a really cool color combination everything like that um, we are gaining uh, some more shock adjustments and everything else um, versus the uh, stock chassis. Also, we are seeing uh, some skid angle increase to nine degrees here on uh, the Battle Axe 2.0 versus, I believe it's five or six degrees on the Stance RTR. Every little bit in the right areas help out there. Um, as far as everything else, stance wise, axles, I haven't touched any of the axles. Probably will at some point. 
swap over to the stubby conversion kit, but um, they were just, when I put everything together, they were out of stock and I haven't been having a problem finding them again. So not, not a big deal. We're just still rocking everything in its full platform there. Definitely really excited um, with the rails. They look good. Again, it was bolt on. I had no issues with mine. Everything bolted up and mounted in its location. It was a very smooth and straightforward swap. Everything fit nicely and was able to put body mounts all in their same location. So all the holes and everything, I didn't have to re-drill anything like that. So that's always a plus so that I can get all the body mounts back to where they were originally. Then digging deeper into it. So first we'll start out here on wheels and tires. Uh, so wheels, we have some shipped uh, 1.9 wheels. Uh, these are in the blue splash tires. We are rocking the infamous illegal J Concepts uh, megalithic tires. And I do believe, yes, this one has uh, some alt foams for the megalithic tires in them. Um, I believe there's a super soft, ultra super soft front and super soft rear is what I have. Um, so far, I've been liking them. Just got a couple sets to try out on a couple different tires and stuff like that. And they seem to be working really well. And shocks, I did change out these stock shocks to, again, another set of Mata 2660s. Same shocks that I run, that I run on the Brazen uh, Hardline VRD. Great overall shock. Never have any issues or anything like that with them. And then take a look at electronics. So first up here, uh, servo. Of course, we have the Thurbo's RC G13 Pro servo in here. And for motor, we're rocking the uh, 2500 uh, Asus 10 um, motor from Three Brothers RC as well. Again, as a full-size motor, and I went ahead and put it in there because, like I said, I don't have the conversion kit or anything like that. And A6 is a great motor, one of my favorites, so we put it in there. And then, powering all that, we have a Silent Assassin ESC, so everything's uh, nice and quiet, plenty of control, you can see in that video. Absolutely loving the build, having a great time with it. Um, and the capabilities in that video, I had an absolute blast. The way it was able to just pull some of those lines, and one of the lines, there's the big rock in the front, that I normally go up like that uh, right hand side all the way from the bottom up and over the top. To the left of that is another line that's been there for a long time. It's just been, that's been a challenge line. The video doesn't do that line justice. You only have a narrow, maybe track width, slightly less track width, but to get at that angle and approach it at the correctness, you're kind of off kilter a little bit. And then the incline video doesn't do that. Video video does not do that line justice and and this one uh, was able to handle it and get up and going on it so that was definitely um, very good to see just the overall capabilities that of just what this platform overall can do um, barring the chassis swap and everything that just improves it even more I so said definitely excited with this as far as upgrading any of the other um, other components I just I'll probably just address them if I ever do run into any, any issues or anything like that. Uh, but for right now, everything works fine. At this time, the only thing I might do are links, um, but that's simply because I will be taking the links off the other VRD, the stock links, and putting them on there because it is also getting a transformation here soon. So I'm just going to be recycling the VRD carbon kit links uh, to this one. So everything's going to just bolt on and be good to go uh, because they are the VRD carbon links are quite a bit thicker than the RTR links here. I said, I've seen p pictures of some people bending them and stuff like that, but um, I kind of question what was being done because I've sent this thing, I've got it bound up, I've had it tumbled, um, and I haven't bent any links. I'm not saying I won't because I definitely can. I've bent plenty of links before, um, but at this point, I haven't had any issues with them. And I'll get everything uh, in the build here. Link down in the description below if you want to take a deeper dive or anything into that. Um, any comments, questions, anything like that, as always, put them down below. Do my best to get everything answered. But uh, that is my uh, Battle Axe 2.0 um, on the VRD stance. I uh, absolutely love this truck. So, uh, hope you enjoyed the chrono footage. Hope you enjoyed the build. Um, until next time, everyone, as always, have a good one. Crawl on.